When I was a very small person, the radio was always on at home and I would practically hug one of the speakers to listen. Now this music education effortlessly opened up my world to sound, I believe, and it probably kick-started my abilities as a harmonist. Now it certainly has helped me make sense of music through the years. And for my first years at the piano, it must have been discernible because my teacher told my parents that I had something. Now, this actually makes me laugh now because I think it sounds like a rather backhanded compliment. But I think that what she was actually saying was where I might have lacked technique, I had a whole lot of musical expression. So my parents actively encouraged me to stick at it. Now this opens up a whole nature versus nurture debate, but I would argue that it's a moot argument really because genetic ability can only become apparent through relevant activity. Now if I hadn't listened attentively to music, for example, or had piano lessons or sung in choirs, the music gene, if such a thing exists, would never have been stimulated and I would have been none the wiser. So what is the point I'm trying to make here? Creating a musician isn't just about learning to play an instrument. It's about having a home environment that effortlessly ignites musicianship. Listening to music or having it on in the background is a perfect way to do this and it quite naturally will provide experience of a variety of musical genres, moods, feelings, and it also will develop musical preferences. Now, I'm not saying that this kind of activity guarantees musical development, but it is pretty crucial to expose children to music if a joyful life of musical ability is what you would like for them. Uh, I'm really grateful to my parents who both appreciate music and without even knowing it they were my very first music teachers. So when you think about it like this there's no such thing as a novelist who has never read a book or a dancer who has never been to see any dance performances. And it's great actually living in the time that we live these days because you can stream music and a great feature of music streaming services is that many of them can play a playlist of a type of music to suit your mood. I mean, I frequently enjoy relaxing piano music when I'm cooking dinner. It means you really don't need shelves full of CDs like the one you can see behind me. So go and see what CDs you have, get Spotify, or save your favourite music radio channels and aim to develop a habitual music playing in the background whenever possible. Make this a normal part of your home environment and this will feed the musical experiences of your family as well as set a really, really good example. It's all about appreciating the music. <laughs>